For centuries, the moon has been a silent companion to Earth, glowing in the night sky, its cratered surface holding stories of the past. We have gazed at it, explored it, and even walked on it, but its greatest secret remained hidden beneath the dust. Could this seemingly dry and lifeless world actually contain water? And if so, where is it hiding? How did it get there? And what does it mean for the future of space exploration? These questions have sent space agencies across the world on a relentless quest, a cosmic treasure hunt to uncover one of the moon's most astonishing mysteries. The story begins in 1976, when the Soviet Union's Luna 24 probe drilled into the moon's surface, collecting precious samples of lunar soil. When scientists back on Earth examined the tiny grains of moon dust, they found something they never expected, water. Not much, just traces. But the deeper they looked, the more they found. Was it real? Or was it contamination from Earth? Many dismissed the discovery, believing the moon to be as dry as the deserts of Mars. And so, the mystery remained. NASA's Clementine mission scanned the moon and found something incredible. Craters near the lunar south pole, locked in eternal darkness. These regions, untouched by sunlight for billions of years, were colder than the surface of Pluto. If water existed on the moon, this was where it would be, trapped in ice, hidden away in these frozen vaults. NASA sent another probe, Lunar Prospector, in 1998, searching for signs of water. It found strong hints of hydrogen at the poles, raising hopes that vast deposits of ice could be buried there. But hydrogen alone wasn't enough to confirm water. Scientists needed proof. And so, in 1999, they did something drastic. They crashed the spacecraft into the moon, hoping the impact would send up a spray of icy debris. Nothing. No clear sign of water. The mystery deepened. The search persisted. In 2007, Japan's Selen, Kaguya mission, aimed to map the moon in high resolution and investigate its surface. Like its predecessors, Kaguya also crashed into the moon at the end of its mission in hopes of ejecting material that could reveal signs of water. Yet, once again, no definitive evidence was found. Then came a breakthrough in 2008. India's first lunar mission, Chandrayaan-1, carried a game-changing instrument, the Moon Impact Probe, MIP. This impactor was designed to detect water in its gaseous form as it crashed into the lunar surface. As it descended, it sent back data confirming the presence of water vapor in the Moon's thin exosphere. A few months later, further confirmation came from another sophisticated instrument aboard Chandrayaan-1, NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper, M3. Using spectroscopy from orbit, M3 also detected water on the Moon. Water was there. It wasn't just hidden in shadowy craters. It was spread across the Moon's surface, locked inside its very soil. NASA wasn't done. In 2009, they launched L-Cross, a mission with one purpose, to end the debate once and for all. This time, the plan was clear. A piece of the spacecraft would slam into a permanently shadowed crater, sending up a massive plume of debris, while another probe flew through the cloud, analyzing the material before it too, crashed into the moon. The world held its breath. The result? A scientific jackpot. L-Cross detected hydrogen, ammonia, methane, and most importantly, clear, undeniable evidence of frozen water. The moon's secret was finally out. Today, scientists estimate that the moon holds an astonishing 600 billion kilograms of water ice, an amount so vast that it weighs as much as 460 million cars. Imagine millions of Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with frozen water, silently waiting in the moon's shadowy craters. But this raises an even bigger mystery. How did so much water end up on the moon? And more importantly, if the moon has no atmosphere to protect it, and is constantly bombarded by the sun's harsh radiation, why hasn't it evaporated into space? The secret lies in the moon's polar craters, where some regions have never seen sunlight. These permanently shadowed areas are colder than Pluto's surface, with temperatures plunging to minus 250 degrees Celsius, minus 418 degrees Fahrenheit, cold enough to keep ice frozen for eternity. The water that exists in these frigid vaults remains untouched, preserved in time like an ancient cosmic treasure. Even more astonishing, scientists now suspect that the moon's water isn't just in its craters. It might be spread across the entire surface, locked within the soil in microscopic amounts. If true, 
This could mean that water is far more abundant on the moon than we ever imagined. With the mystery of its existence solved, a new question emerged. How did it get there? Scientists now believe the moon's water has multiple sources. Ancient comets and asteroids that smashed into the surface billions of years ago, leaving behind frozen reservoirs. The solar wind, which carries hydrogen that interacts with oxygen in the lunar soil, forming small amounts of water. Micrometeorites, tiny space rocks that steadily deliver water to the moon's surface. Glass-like beads created by intense heat from meteorite impacts, potentially acting as natural water storage. Recent missions, including India's Chandrayaan-3, have provided even more detailed insights. While Chandrayaan-1 first confirmed water molecules on the moon in 2009, Chandrayaan-2 and 3 have now detected ice in permanently shadowed craters near the lunar south pole, where temperatures are cold enough to trap water for billions of years. In fact, data from Chandrayaan-2 suggests that the amount of subsurface ice within the first few meters is five to eight times greater than surface ice at both poles. Additionally, the northern polar region may harbor twice as much water ice as the southern polar region. NASA's SOFIA mission further confirmed water in unexpected places on the sunlit surface of the moon in 2020. This discovery suggests that water may not be limited to dark craters, but could also exist in lunar soil and minerals. Scientists now understand that the moon's water exists in various forms, ice trapped in deep, permanently shadowed craters at the poles, water molecules mixed within the lunar soil, tiny glass beads from meteorite impacts, storing water like hidden reservoirs, even sunlit regions where trace amounts of water have been detected in minerals. This means water is far more widespread on the moon than we ever imagined, hidden in places we once thought impossible. Water is not just a scientific curiosity. It is the key to the future of space travel. If we can extract water from the moon, we can drink it, use it for farming, and even break it down into hydrogen and oxygen to create rocket fuel. Instead of hauling fuel from Earth, future astronauts could refuel on the moon, making deep space travel cheaper and easier. This has triggered a modern space race, with nations and private companies rushing to stake their claim. China and Russia are planning robotic lunar stations by 2030. NASA's Artemis program is preparing to return humans to the moon, possibly as early as 2025. Private companies are developing technology for lunar mining, seeing enormous profit potential. The moon's greatest mystery has finally been solved. But in solving it, we have opened the door to a new question. What happens next? The answer will not just shape the future of space exploration. It may redefine humanity's place in the universe. That's a wrap, quiz and knowledge room viewers. If you enjoyed the moon's hidden water, like, share, and subscribe for more discoveries. Stay tuned. Our next video is packed with more exciting mysteries. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. See you soon.